Welcome to Occupy Mars the Game, a beautiful, fun and interesting survival game that sits somewhere between Subnautica and Stationeers. Subnautica being the easy and Stationeers being the hard one. We're gonna start a brand new sandbox game. This game has been out for a while, but it's actually one of my favorites and I wanted to play it on a little bit harder difficulty than usual. We're gonna keep the difficulty level on Colonist, which is basically weather, fewer building materials and stuff. Wealth of resources, we're gonna keep it standard, but we're gonna be decreasing the starting equipment. I've noticed that it actually changes the gameplay quite a lot. And I figured we have played a little bit on my main channel, but we're gonna start in Gale Crater. So let's go right in. The premise of the game that you are actually a colonist being sky dropped from a capsule onto the surface of Mars with the task of surviving and establishing the base. Now, depending on the start, if you remember, we have chosen that we're gonna have less resources and that is gonna make it hard for us. So survival will be a challenge. And I'm really looking forward to its gameplay because I've played this game and it's actually a very, very fun base builder and stuff. So uh, if you haven't checked this out, this game is I don't know why it's not more popular than it should be because the game is simply amazing. It has deep mechanics, very engaging gameplay, and it's also quite chill if you don't start on extra, extra, extra hard difficulty, which this is a little bit harder than normal, but still pretty fun and engaging. Also, a lot of people start with the story. Personally, I don't like the story that much. I find the open freedom of roaming on Mars and building the game much more fun. All right, so without me yapping, uh, we have just landed. Completed. Right, we have just landed on the surface of Mars and we shouldn't be wasting any time. As you can tell, we have lots of materials and it looks and it's really realistic and I really love the graphics. So for all of the survival procedures, we should first be water, then power, then resources, then food and onwards. I'm actually quite familiar with the game, so I already know a little bit. We're gonna be taking the abandoned tablet. Tablets are the way how you can learn stuff. For example, large re replaceable accumulator. It's how you unlock certain technologies. And I can just briefly show you. You can bu build stuff from blueprints and I will be showing this, how is this being done. Uh, then you have your own inventory with the character. Then you have tech tree where we will be unlocking lots of technologies which unlock as you progress onwards and without further ado let's get into it here in the capsule don't forget you have some extra materials and these are the initial building materials aluminum plate small pipe on universal repair kit right then you have medium circuit board a first aid kit some food electronics, cement, solar panels. Don't forget the pack of screws. It's kind of important. Cordless drill, I actually don't need it at the moment. And I'm holding control while I'm clicking everything here because I'm just new. picking up stuff. Yeah, new stuff, uh, spectral detector. This is actually important. This plant grower, I'm gonna leave for the time being. Right, let's check our stats. Okay, uh, I'm gonna be having the, I always set my cables that they are the first, I put the jackhammer to the five and then uh, this is how I just set up my groups. Yeah, let's go and check out what the surface looks like. And in this beautiful, look at this. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. This is simply amazing. Look at the environment. I'm telling you, this game is something else. Now. First things we need, we said we need water. So we're taking our spectral detector and we will be locating there a site for a well. All right, we're gonna go there and we're gonna be building a well. We have some amount of hydration, but we shouldn't be wasting any moments. Remember, we have less resources than usual. So it's really important that we get a good start. All right, there we go. Now let's go with the blueprints and we need to go with the resources. We're going to be building a well. Well is how you extract water on this planet. And then you need to be able to build it. However, you cannot be building it because you don't have a blowtorch. And in order to build a blowtorch, you will need some resources. Yeah, I forgot that actually not having a blowtorch can be a little bit itsy bitsy of the problem. So I should be building a blowtorch as well. Right. So. 
I have an electronic 3D printer here. So what do we need to build a blowtorch? We need to, blowtorch being here, we need small pipe, aluminum plate, and pack of screws, and we need to unlock it. So, aluminum plate, pack of screws, let's go and just start drilling. We're gonna go get our jackhammer out, and you just approach it and hold the click button, and it starts, you know, drilling. And you can notice while I'm drilling, that in the top corner in the middle, I'm getting the orange markers. This means that my XP is going up and soon enough, I will be proficient enough in how to handle the tools and I will be able to unlock a next node. So there we go, pick it up. And right now I'm drilling, I think this looks like a silicone. If you drill it, you will be able to see when you pick it up, it will say what it is. So right now it's just an unknown ore because we cannot scan it obviously. Now, it, we said we did pick up silicone 12 pieces. Now, I don't need that much silicone. There are other materials. There's iron, aluminium, calcium, and all others. So we're gonna just pick up the rest of the silicone. And I think this to me looks like iron. Later on, you will be able to upgrade your spectral detector to be able to identify which does the contents of the rock. And you can see new technological point for, you know, advancement achieved. And there we go, unknown ore. I'm just gonna be drilling this part because I think this would be a bunch, a little bit of iron. Okay, I think some rocks, when you, you know, when you drill them, they just disintegrate and contain these small chunks inside. These chunks inside are actual ore pieces. So let's see if we can get the one piece of iron. I think this is iron. Yeah, it's reddish. Yeah, it is iron. Okay, but now we have unlocked a node. And if we go to the mechanics, we have basic mechanics and here we can unlock the blowtorch. There we go. So now that we have unlocked a blowtorch, we go into this electronics printer and we print one. It needs small pipes, aluminum plates and pack of screws. Right now inventory has nothing. However, if I place all of these components in an inventory, okay, they don't need kit, but you have to be careful which components you put in. You, now we should be able to craft a blowtorch. There we go. Crafting one blowtorch coming up. The second thing that we should be building is electricity. So while this is being printed, I'm going to waste no time and I'm going to be setting up a solar panel. And the solar panel is a po possible to print under the blueprints and electricity solar panel. And I'm just going to place it here. Then we're going to be building that one as well. This is something that you really need to be building early on. Is it still printing? Yeah, blowtorch will be done soon. I mean, maybe I could just go and drill a little bit more while this is being built. You know, you shouldn't waste time. When you have this low resources, you really need to make each second count. So I'm actually going to drill one more of the iron nodes. Oh, there are two nodes. Okay, great. That means that I will be able to also drill a little bit more. And you can see the top in the center, the icons that are popping up, that means that I, my XP is going up. So you do level up by doing stuff. So, and there you have a clock. Now it's 1126. Eventually it will come dark. And when the dark comes, so does the temperature drop. And then if you have no water, no food, well, you're kind of in trouble. All right, iron rock, iron rock. I think the blowtorch is probably done by now. So I'm going to go in and I am going to... It's done. Okay, inventory. And I am picked up a blowtorch and I'm picking up all the components because I will be needing those for the construction. I'm going to be... If you go to inventory, you can drag to your hotkeys. I typically put my blowtorch to be number three because I'm just wired that way. I, I did it before. So now let's run and weld up our well. Uh, you have noticed maybe a while back that there is a base and uh, right about that side, but we have nothing yet which we can do about it at the moment. So without further ado, let's assemble the well. And uh, it's important that you do it early during your first soul because it will be collecting water. And as you can see, our hydration is not really, you know, that high. So collecting water is paramount in the beginning. It's really, really important that you get this as early as possible. 
with the low resources every second counts okay now well is gonna be producing the water then we're gonna be creating the second thing which is the uh, power supply our suit battery will last us long enough however we still do need this power so we're gonna come over here and we're gonna be building the solar panel there we go new technological point and this one is in the field of electricity so let's see in the tech tree of electricity we have basic electricity and we will need to unlock the workshop to be able to do anything else all right mechanics i don't have yet the grinder i will need the grinder pretty badly soon enough the grinder is used mostly for um for grinding down old components and i'm going to show you how that is done but let me just first see if i can uh, i think that this rock looks to me like aluminium yeah it is aluminium so I'm, I'm gonna drill a little bit more just to get to the second technical level advance my you know tools how do you say competence to the level two okay new technological point this is what i was trying to do and the main reason being why i was doing it i'll show you is that i will be unlocking a grinder and then we're gonna be visiting the base that you have seen because once we have the grinder we will be able to grind down things and level up in the material so if you go here to the tech tree the next thing to unlock is the grinder and the grinder is really important the now technology access level increased so we're gonna be building the grinder while we are doing a little bit more of mining here so let me just quickly go it into the inventory placing aluminium and all the components once again back in so now we're gonna be constructing the grinder so printing and grinder there we go so while that one is being produced i'm gonna go and i'm gonna drill some more aluminium this game is actually quite heavy and you need a lot of aluminium and after the grinder is done we're gonna be visiting that base that you can see on the horizon it's still one o'clock so it's fairly early in the morning the goal, my goal for today would be to at least advance to the level where I will be able to start constructing the new permanent housing because you can spend your time and sleep in the capsule. However, you are at disadvantage if you do so because uh, you are wasting. First of all, you cannot get a good night's sleep, so you won't be fully rested. And also it's not really comfortable and your resources are being depleted. So my advice, go and try and quickly as you can to try and build the, what is it called? Yeah, the, wor the workshop, I think it's called. All right, let's see. I think that by now, probably the grinder has constructed. And assuming that the grinder has constructed, we can equip it. Is it done? Yes, all right, great. Then I'm going to be putting this here and I'm going to now I'm going to leave pack of screws. I'm just going to be taking on the grinder. Nothing more. The main reason being because I once I go to that base, there will be a lot of things that I can pick up. So naturally, I want to leave as much of the things that I don't need behind. So printer container, I can actually put a few of those in the printer container fuses and all that stuff repair kit uh, those i'm gonna keep on me just in case time to run to the base and to have the first sip of my morning coffee thank you very much by the way if you're enjoying this let's play and you're you know want to support me you can buy me a coffee at my coffee shop links in the description below thanks for supporting me now we're gonna be exploring this base we're gonna just take a screenshot and what can we do if you press z it will be highlighting all the interactables that can be so here we have a sort of um, health pack but i don't need it just yet we're gonna go inside i prefer to use the first person this is small circuit board this might be handy later on and let me just turn on the lights so what do we what do we have here here we have solid rocket fuel slash explosives i don't need that uh, yet 
small circuit board yes what else do we have small circuit board you don't tell me what else do we have small circuit board wow so many circuit boards what else do we have we have something else here this is suit battery this might be very useful further later on and there is stuff on the top floor oh there is something else abandoned tablet that's a unlocks tech skill unlock points so let's see in the inventory right click use atv and speaking of atvs are there any vehicles oh there's an atv quad i'm gonna locate it oh and it's close to me aha so that means I have just found a vehicle that I can use. Perfect. So that's really important to get a good start. Now you have here solar cells. And if you keep hitting Z, you will be finding a lot of the tools that you can pick up. Small circuit boards, anything else. So you can see right now I haven't started to grind down. Now I'm taking the grinder and I'm going to be grinding down monitors for electronics. And while I'm doing that, you will notice the blue icon flashing at the top because i am leveling up my construction you know skills i think it's materials which is the category so this is early on how you can actually get a lot of experience while doing this so let's see hold on can i actually no these two are not scrappable okay what about this yeah see available point for technological see i have gotten the technological point and it's really important because it will allow me to unlock the workshop now i'm gonna scrap a few things more here while i'm still here on the floor these crates are really an excellent point to practice scrapping don't mind the hydration and the hunger we will fix that the moment we get to our base however scrapping now is really important because if you look on the left hand side it says picked up small circuit board it gives us valuable building materials which we can use to construct further so you don't need to just mine there are two ways how you can build your components which help you build the base one is mining as you saw we take jackhammer and we drill it down in the rocks and then we use 3d printer to print materials other is we are scrapping the existing materials and recycling them into the abandoned tablets boxes aluminum plates and all that jazz so we are now trying to scrap as much as possible and I'm keeping eye on my, on my clock because the clock is saying it's 3.30, so I still do want to do other things rather than Suit just power, that. Suit power, 75%. Signal received from the probe. There has been apparently some probe that did something. Also, you can check your progression when it comes to, and I'm going to show you. Oh, we have gotten three technological points. Don't worry, we're, we will be putting them to the good use. Now, all right, I think that's enough scrapping. We have three technological points. If you go to the tech tree, materials. This circle here, when it goes to full, you get an additional point and it says how much you need. So we have basic, we're gonna be unlocking the workshop, which is important. Technology access level. And then I want to be building a pump which is also really important for the water. Access level increased. And then I want to be progressing towards survival capsule and small corridors, I think, because 3D printer, storage cabinet, living capsule, yeah. Okay, let's go this way. Materials, technology. Electricity, now increased. that we have unlocked the technology workshop, we can actually unlock the transformer ECU. Electricity, technology access level increased. So we have unlocked a lot of technologies and I'm going to show you why is this important in a second. First things first, if you remember, we said that close by there is an ATV. By the way, is there anything here? It appears so. Oh, an additional building component. Don't mind if I do. Now, one thing that I really love about this game is your ability to repair. Look at this. We have found an ATV and it's broken because its circuit board went bye bye. However, it requires a small circuit board and I have a small circuit board, which means if I place it here, I'm placing a new one, closing, and this thing will be starting to work. We can use it as our commuter point. Look at this. And look at us go. Third person view. Ain't life grand. Now look at that. So since we are low on water, we're immediately going to go for the water. Sorry for a little bit dizzying back and forth. All 
right. So the plan now is to start planning where will our base be. And to save on the cables, I think it will be very close to our well, because uh, then we don't have to drag along the pipes and the wells and everything else. So I'm actually going really close to the well. There we go. Space for a break. And now we need to fix our water hydration situation. Coming here, using the panel. Fill a water bottle. Good. And look at that. Our hydration is now full. So close to here, we want to be setting up the base. And I'm thinking just here because this is close enough. Let's see, can we build? If you press B, you go directly into the blueprint section. And if we go into the living, there is the workshop. So the workshop is actually quite demanding. It takes a lot of components, but if we move a little bit further back, we're going to take this one up and we're going to rotate it. Second, we're going to rotate it, not this side, but this side, because it has all the plugs on this side. Fine. There we go. And this is something that we will need to be building. However, at this point, I don't have the resources to build it yet. But let's see, blueprints. Can I build a solar panel? No, I have don't have the required require materials. Fine. In this case, I'm just going to go back into my base and I'm going to be drilling for the rest of the day because the darkness is coming soon. At least I know where my base will be and what components I need to bring. So now I'm in for a load of drilling until the night falls. Once the night falls, then we should be really running in and, you know, packing up stuff. So our hunger is rising. I'm, I, I don't worry too much about it. And the cool stuff is that you can actually take the cable from this socket and, you know, connect it. That's one of the... The game is really tactile. And that's something I really like about it. So I'm going to go and I'm going to drill some more iron and silicone. We know that this is iron because we already drilled it senseless. So I'm just going to continue to spend the rest of my night or day drilling. The plan for tomorrow, or actually the plan now, is to gather as many materials as I can to be able to construct all of the things that I need. And I'm going to show you how you can actually padlock the stuff that you need, you know, so you have a reminder. So that's really important. Okay, let me just drill down this piece of iron and then I'm going to show you the rest. Okay, now, you know that we have built there a workshop. So if we go into the blueprints and we have the workshop here, we don't know how much materials we need. So if I right click now here on this picture and move, look, on the right hand side, I have a shopping list of materials that I need to have in order to build the workshop. And I find that really great. So we do have a lot of things and we do have some in our 3D printer. You also have to make sure that you move away. If you take down the pillar, these pillars look like more like a styrofoam rather than heavy rocks, but they do fall down. They're affected by physics. So be careful about that. I don't think anything will happen if it falls on your head at the moment, but I'm pretty sure somewhere further down the line, it will be problematic. Now, you might go and say, well, you know, Survival Joe, this is actually quite tedious to drill. And I agree. However, as you progress, you will get better drills. And at some point, you will even get a rover and a huge rover, which will allow you to drill things really efficiently. So don't pay attention. This is just an early start. And it is a little bit tedious. And you are required to put in the effort to be able to survive. But then, OK, this unknown ore is like paper. So it's really funny. Okay, I think, can I find any more ores within this rock? If not, I'm gonna be just going and drilling somewhere else. Hold on, what do we have here? Usually I'm out and doing stuff until nine o'clock because at 10, there is a huge temperature drop. So you can see now it's minus 10. While it's minus 10, it's still doable. However, later on you get you get a huge temperature drops and then you really, okay, pick it, picked up the iron rock. I think I actually might want to go uh, grab a little bit more aluminum. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't want to do that. Nope. 
Oh, I almost destroyed it. Okay, sorry. Uh, this is the jackhammer. So, it's 6.39, the darkness has fallen, the day has left, and as many things that I can drill, this both increases my, you know, competence in handling the tools and the materials, so I think it's really important to drill as much as you can early on. This will pay dividends later once you actually start doing other things. So I think we can drill until 8-ish and then the temperature starts to drop really significantly. So I'm trying just now to take as many unknown ore components or, you know, chunks as I can. Power, 50%. Okay, suit power 50%. That's a little bit boring. All right, I am consuming a lot of suit power. Okay, let's get closer. And remember, we have no power source where to drill now. So, but I mean, it will survive one day. We'll need to recharge it eventually. And the more materials I get, the more solar panels and all that stuff I will be able to produce. So that's why I'm actually trying to drill as much as possible. I said until eight o'clock, right? Now it's 7.37, so it's, we're getting it closer. We have gotten one more technological point for advancement, which is great. Now we're drilling a little bit more silicone. All right. 757. After this one, I think we're good. Unknown ore ready to load. Ah, maybe we take just this, this one to be on the safe side. Okay, suit battery is 50%. I think it's enough. By the way, using the jackhammers and everything else and also drains your battery, so be do, do be careful about that. Now I'm gonna shut off my lamp because that also drains my battery and we're gonna be closing the hatch. So while I'm here, what you wanna do is you want to take off your helmet. I'm gonna put a spectral detector here and now... Oxygen source external. Oxygen source external, so we're not consuming. Now. While we are here, we might as well want to be consuming some food to fill up our stomach. And now we're 196%. I think that's good enough. And let's see, is there anything else we can craft? So inventory, we're gonna be putting all of the ores there and we're gonna be putting all of the building materials in our inventory because I want to know, is the, what am I missing? Yeah. It said warning. And why? Because expected significant temperature drop at 10 o'clock. So if you look now, we have almost all the small pipes, quite a few aluminum plates, and there are a couple of things that we need to build. So we need to build one small pipe, six plates. Okay, let's go. One small pipe, six plates. So one small pipe. We have to be really, and six aluminum, is it aluminum plates? I think it was aluminum, or was it aluminum or steel? Yeah, aluminum plates. Six aluminum plates, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six aluminum plates, then what? Four glass plates and uh, four glass plates. Four glass plates, do I have enough for four? One, two, three, four, yes I have, beautiful. So small pipe, aluminum plates, or glass plates. I need more pack of screws and I need cement. I don't think I have enough to build cement though. So let's see, pack of screws. I need, let's say we do it seven. 70 screws, that should be enough, right? 70 screws, yes. And then we need cement. For cement, I think we need calcium. So I don't have the calcium, which is a little bit of a downer. Um, I haven't mined it yet, so okay, we are, what, pack of screws? Oh yeah, that needs to also be produced. So once that is done, then we will be making sure, oh, there we go, pack of screws. Now, now we're only left with cement, and if you try and create cement, you will see, I need the calcium. Calcium is probably found in one of the resources nearby, and before we go to sleep, we'll need to go to sleep soon. I'm going to go with the tech tree. Mechanics. I'm close to getting another point. I, now I have a grinder. And let's see. Box of circuits might be handy because box of circuits is taking a lot of materials. ATV crate, detector 2, 
yeah those are gated so fire extinguisher detonator jackhammer 2 yeah i'm gonna go for the box of circuits now can i craft the box of circuits that's a good question might be worth investigating can i craft the box of circuits here let's just quickly check i haven't tried this yet so i'm a little bit box for circuits and pen drive yeah let's do this so if i craft a box because currently they take a lot of inventory space so if i take this one and if i physicalize it i'm just really curious now how it will work can i drag and drop this circuit board inside i think so look and there we go and if i double click it's there inside so they actually allow me to save a lot of space and this really handy for organizing your small boxes see you have uh, some more spaces all right that does it for the first soul by the way guys if you enjoyed this episode throw fling a like at it and subscribe for more awesome content that will be coming for this awesome game this has been occupy mars and i'll see you in the next episode thanks for watching